I'm Jenny with Miss Jenny's Cleaning Service outside of Atlanta, Georgia, and today I'm going to show you how to properly use a feather duster. And feather dusters have gotten a really bad name because people think that they just fling the dust out into the air and that they're not doing the proper job, but actually a feather duster is a very efficient uh, dusting tool if it's used properly. And the nice thing about this is that it can be washed. And the way the feather dusters are constructed, these little feathers, if you, if you can see, there's little tiny pieces that come out. These little feathers have little hairs on them and they pick up the dust and that's what makes them work properly. Now when you're dusting, you never fling the, fling the feather duster out. That's what's gonna knock the, fe the dust back into the air. So if we're gonna dust this mantle. What we do is we pick this up and move it over and these little push through things here. And then you're gonna take your feather duster and you're just gonna go glide it across the surface. As you see, I'm not really I'm not really flinging it out to send the dust down into the air. We're just picking the dust up. And we'll put, it, put this back and I can dust this. Now this has little carving. You can nooks and crannies in it. This is where your feather duster is actually more efficient than your swiffers and things like that because that feather, those feathers will get into those little cracks and crevices and get the dust out of them. And you can just take it and just kind of wiggle it around and these little shorter pieces in the middle will get that dust out. This back, pick up this little angel. He's got lots of crevices. And again, just kind of in an S motion here because we're doing little sections at a time. And we'll just kind of give him a little back rub there with the feather duster, tickle him a little bit in through. So you can see I'm just kind of wedging it in there behind his wings. And I'll cross his tummy and down his feet. Angel back. Asian dude here will very gently come across here, pick up the dust, dust him off. It's Asian, Asian Jesus. Asian <laughs> Jesus. You know what? Why not? Just kind of brush across the bottom there. And put that back. His name is Asian. I'm going to Jason. Alright, I'm going to, now you see back in through here. So when I'm taking the duster and I'm kind of flattening it down and just kind of running it behind there and then back across the front like that. And the thing with electronics, electronics actually attract dust. So that's why people always notice that your TVs and your computers, they get dustier, it seems, than anything else. But if you notice, my motions are smooth and deliberate. I'm just kind of pushing it back behind there so I can get the dust in the back of the TV. I'm gonna move this little angle over for a minute and this little flip it idea. I don't really know here. what that is. I just made it like the plate for the angel. Oh, it's, it's a dio, but it's, it doesn't have a circle in it. Put that back. And I'm going to be gentle with these because I think one of these is actually damaged. I don't want to damage it more, but I'll just run the feather duster down that one. I'm not going to pick it up. But this one too, we just kind of do a little circular motion on the top and run the feather duster around the edges on this. And finally, our little receiver here, back where the cords are. This is another place that collects dust. You can take the feather duster and just kind of wiggle it around in here. This way we're not disturbing the cords, but we're getting those dusty spots in between the wires. And then across the top and there. And then very smooth, across this edge. And that, that's it. So I hope you like this video, and maybe you'll give the feather dusters another shot. Uh, if you like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel. If you'd like to hire us for service, this is Miss Jenny's Cleaning. My phone number, or our phone number is 301-331-1220. Thank you.